I feel called to speak some words of encouragement, my friend. If you are maybe trying to get your business off the ground, this, this video is for you. And if you get stressed out around the holidays, if you get stressed out around the holidays about money, this, this video is for you. I'm actually at the nursing home with my wife and her family. I make a quick video before dinner starts because I care about you. So if you're stressed out about money in the, around the holidays, I can relate to that. We, a lot of us can relate to that. And the goal is to finally get yourself to a place to where you're comfortable and happy around the holidays and not so maybe stressed about money. And I know the holidays and money should have nothing to do with each other, but for some weird reason they do. But if you are trying to get your business off the ground and maybe you're in the Midwest and you're like, oh, next spring I'm, I'm just going to crush it. Or, or maybe th things aren't going so well. The holidays can be the most depressing times when you feel like you're kind of toiling inside or failing inside or and this to get down right down to the point is taking on responsibility I remember well for a long time first second third year in starting my landscaping business so much to learn so many painful lessons I'm still learning but specifically remember these these emotional deep like almost like crucifixion type feelings would come through me these esoteric symbolic messages would come in the darkest moments of pain anxiety suffering and rage where I felt like you ever see those races where the it's like a semi truck a tractor trailer it's almost like strongman competition for trucks and when the trucks take off there's a load behind it, but the, the more the truck goes is the more the load doubles and triples and quantifies and the, until the truck just goes and squats. Like it can't go nowhere because, you know, and that's what it's doing. It's squeezing you down and the better you get is the harder it gets. The faster you run is the faster it chases you. The more you make, the more they take. The more you level up is the more everything levels up on you to keep you just that keeps the water just right up to your nostrils and it keeps rising and you have to keep running and, and, and you you ask yourself when am I going to get ahead when is this when, when am I going to get my break because the more I learn and the more I grow is the more I learn I don't know and the more this it's just like until when until infinity until infinity until infinity I remember I was on the phone with my buddy Rob, uh, the coach, Coach Rob, and I said something. I was like, I was asking him about women and marriage and things like that. <laughs> and I said, so women, he was talking about how in marriage is a man and a woman in a relationship, uh, a man who's primarily in his masculine, a woman who's primarily in her feminine. She will always test the man to feel his integrity, for trust, all these different deep psychological reasons. But I said, well, what if the man finally feels like he's got like his marriage and his woman figured out, right? There's a joke between men, right? Will everything be okay finally? Same within your business, right? Because your relationship to the feminine is your relationship to your, your business or your success. And he said, well, then she will just continue to make finer and finer and finer distinctions. I go, what? Until when? He says, until infinity. I was like, whoa. These infinity type of thoughts, these infinity type of feelings, that it's a nonstop uphill battle with your, your business, your success, with that. It's like the labyrinth, bro. It's like interstellar. And I know that doesn't really give the answer, but I know one thing for sure is when you swallow that hard pill of responsibility and you step into it and you get with the program and you pick up your cross, so to speak, and you just carry it up the hill and you realize you're going to be bleeding your whole life. And I saw, I know that sounds really negative, but when you, when you just get with that and quit bucking the system is the more you begin, begin to see that you have these beautiful moments. There's a lot of suffering and pain, but the more you're willing to 
pick up your sword like the men on the front lines in the army who would rush into battle and risk their lives so we could be here today. Men just like you and I left their families and their, their, their wives and their children to march into bloody death and died so you and I could be standing right here right now holding a fucking smartphone in our hands. And if that didn't happen, we wouldn't be here for the foundations of what this country was founded on. Like, we have so much to be grateful for and we're not. So perspective is the key, perspective. We gotta maintain perspective. And when you really get perspective and you swallow that pill that this isn't fair. Maybe you, you grew up with, uh, you didn't have the best of time growing up. Well, it wasn't just you and every dog thinks his fleas bite the hardest. And you realize that life is a son of a bitch sometimes. And some of the most successful people are the people that are hardened like coal turns into a diamond. What is going to shape you as? Is it going to shape you as somebody who can lead himself and, and follow your heart and eventually, you know, lead a business, lead a family and become somebody who in ultimately encourages other people despite your own sufferings and shortcomings? How can you rise up to that challenge? Because I think that's our highest calling. So when you put things into perspective, you can go, you know what, I can put that war paint on my face and hear that drum roll and I can march into my own death. And luckily for you and I, it's not a real death. It doesn't have to be a death of actual bloodshed. It could just be a death of the ego. It can be a death of, of our excuses. It can be death to our, our own bullshit that we're holding on all the way back to our childhood. Our father, we need to forgive. Forgiveness of friends. I felt so shitty back in 2010. I got scammed by like these fake ass concert promoters. Me and my friends were doing music and music shows and shit and it was like so fun. And I was sold fake tickets that looked real. There was fake contracts, like a fake venue. And I sold concert tickets to people that were fake and I ripped people off and I didn't even have money to pay them back. And I, I, there's one person I have to find, and I'm gonna find you, and I'm gonna give you that money back. And I went around all over the place with a stack of $100 bills uh, a couple years back, and I just started like hitting up random people I used to know and giving them money. <laughs> but, oh look at that. Stanley Genetic just uploaded a video. That doesn't have anything to do with it. <sighs> this whole thing about taking on responsibility Like, how much responsibility can we take on until we crack and we're miserable and unhappy and making people around us unhappy because of the selfish pursuit of success or running from what we're terrified of, what we don't want to be? And to balance it all is a real, it's a real son of a bitch, isn't it? I look, so you ever wake up in the morning, if you let me know, let me know in the comments below if you made it to the end of this video. Look at that, you get these permanent bags under your eyes. And you know what? I was really, really ashamed of these. Like, what the fuck, dude? Hair's going gray. Resisting it. And what you resist persists. Until I saw Gary Vaynerchuk one day. Dude a little tired as shit. And, you know, bags under his eyes. And I started to see, you know what? That means that guy is f is facing the fight, you know. But I also I really look up to this dude named uh, Brennan Burchard. This dude's like four in his forties. He ain't got no bags under his eyes. He's all happy as shit all the time. I don't know. That's my rant. I wish you the best of success. And I hope that your business is successful. I hope you get your shit together. I hope you write down all your goals and find that quiet time for yourself to make it all happen because you deserve it. You got this. You deserve it. Okay, I'm going to do family time. Peace. I drank like three cups of coffee. I got to take another piss. Dude.